Okay, this video is how to use uh, your keyboard, your shift key, and your command key to highlight specific files that you want to move to another spot, like your garbage or into another file. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my finder on my Apple so that I can find what I'm looking for. Interesting what they call it, the finder. We're going to find some stuff. So I'm going to bring my cursor down here, pops up my little row of stuff. I'm going to hit my finder, which I've set up so it fills the whole screen. Right now it's got it on recent. But what I want to do is I'm going to go to uh, desktop. All right. And then I'm going to go in here. I want to move a couple of different files. Now, if I wanted to, to move, let's say, these four files, what I would do is click the top one with my mouse and my cursor. Then I would go to that, down to the bottom one and I would push the shift key and then click my mouse. And that would highlight all of these specific uh, files. Now, let's say I want to put them in the trash. I would push down on my mouse, holding my cursor over these, push down on your mouse and then drag it across to where you want to drop. And then pull them down here and slide them over and drop them in. Bam, and they would disappear from here. Now I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go Command Z, pushing down on the Command and Z button. This will undo the last action. And as you can see, they came right back. So this is a thing that you can do. If you accidentally move something or you screwed up and you're like, oh shoot, I didn't want to do that. If you usually, if you hit press down on the Command and then hit Z, it'll just revert back to the previous um, position that you were in in the computer. Now, let's say that I want to move um, uh, how to do an image search in Google and uh, how to make a vegan cauliflower roast, but I want to highlight both of these and I want to throw them into my garbage. Or what? maybe I want to put them both in you know, another file, like maybe my external hard drive, my Seagate, or... Uh, or, or I want to move them into documents, whatever. The way you would do it is first you would highlight the one file that you want by clicking down on your mouse and then you would go down to the other file and you would press your command key and then click on it. And this highlights these two. Now let's say I wanted to, to remove a couple more. I could go to here and I could click on this. Not remove them, but highlight them. But each time I do that, I need to click on the command key. If I don't, what happens is, let's say I click on this one here without holding the command key, those two disappear. Now I just have that one highlighted. So you don't want to do that. If you wanted to get rid of all those, you could do it that way. Because uh, let's say you want to get rid of these, these four, uh, three, but you don't want to get rid of this one. That's how you do it. You use the command key, bam, bam. Let's say I want to get rid of that one, but I don't want to get rid of Now I've got all these. Or I want to move them. You know, I can move them into another file. Or I could create a file like this one here and slide them in there. All right. So I'll show you how you can do that. So let's go down to this. I click on that. And then let's say I want it to uh, move this one also. So I hit Command Key. And then I would take these two and pull them into a different file. Like Delray Beach Kiteboarding. Because those are kiteboarding. And let them go. Now this opens up the kiteboarding. Uh, file. Now if I want to go back to uh, the previous uh, incarnation, I just click there and bam, I'm right back in there. Now if I want to get rid of that, I go Command Z and bam, it pops right back. All right, and that's how you do it. That's how you use your Command Z, your Command, and your Shift key to move files in your Apple computer. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and um, Check out some of my other awesome videos on Apple products, iPhone, YouTube tutorials, and Final Cut Pro. And I've got a bunch of them on how to, you know, install toilets and all kinds of other stuff. You know, check out a Rolex watch, see if it's real. Got a bunch of videos. Just check out how to and you'll find them. All right, thanks a lot.